Yuta comes with pack damage skills and abilities and her charge attacks has to be one of the highest hitters in Genshin Impact. While we have high charge attack hitters, Yuta is meant to spam her charge attacks as you're looking to apply blood blossom effect to the enemies. It's crucial to understand Yuta's playstyle as you're looking to keep her HP lower than 50% as her passive talent will increase her pyro damage by 33%. And her Q skill will dish out max damage when HP is lower than 50% so keeping her HP lower than usual is key. And thanks to the E skill ability that turns all Yuta's attacks into pyro, this skill makes her lose percentage of HP so that you can maintain you Yu Tao to go below 50% HP. Yu Tao's burst comes with DPS numbers identical to Chao Tartaglia but we cannot forget how deadly her charge attacks can be. Because you're looking to spam charge attacks to apply blood blossom effect and applying melt aggressively, especially because Yu Tao comes with one of the highest charge attack gains as her talents level up, going for the charge attack build might be a great option for you. Hey what's up? I'm gonna go over Yu Tao's artifacts, weapons, and attributes real quick to you. Yu Tao's at level 89. For the talents, 8 on the normal and charge attacks, 7 on the E and 9 on the Q. Now for the charge attack build, you wanna go for normal and charge attacks. Obviously with the E, you're gonna straight up increase pyro damage and apply pyro damage, this damage and the Q damage. So it's vital to upgrade both of these. And obviously the Q is gonna do a lot of damage, same numbers, identical to Tal Tartaglia. So, but strictly with this build, you're looking for these two right here. Constellation is zero constellation. For the weapon, I'm gonna be using Black Cliff Pole, Refinement Rank 3, getting Getting that crit damage now for the artifacts i'm gonna use four piece blood stain sugar set i'm gonna go over the meaning of this artifact in a bit just to show you guys the numbers here the feather attack with elemental mastery energy recharge crit rate and hp percent you're gonna be looking for hp percent crit rate and crit damage and if you get elemental mastery that's gonna straight up increase melt and vaporize reaction damage so it's crucial to go for those four attributes now for the flower here hp with crit rate and crit damage on it the hourglass you want to go for hp percent but i'm using attack percent here with hp and pretty good hp percent roll and a lot of crit damage so what you're really looking for is crit damage hp percent crit rate and here you want to go for hp percent but i just cannot get hp percent stands for some reason it's gonna take long time because of the rng i have no so i have no option i have to go for attack percent this showcase for today now Pyro damage cup with HP% percent crit rate and for the helm crit damage with crit rate on it. For the attributes, 43.1% crit rate, 261.7% crit damage. Now it's pretty good if I get crit rate higher but I'm using crit rate at 43% for this build. And the max HP is 26,523. Because I'm not using HP% percent sands, it's pretty much kind of lower but it makes up because I got a lot of crit damage. And before I showcase the Bloodstained set to you, I'm just going to go over the 4-piece set real quick. Now, after you kill an opponent, you're going to increase charge attack damage by 50%. And what you want to look for is the reducing the stamina cost to 0 for 10 seconds. So, after Yutao kills an enemy, you're going to be able to spam charge attack in that little time frame that you have when you e-skill a bit. So you're just going to be doing massive damage. Now with the two piece bonus of physical damage, is Utah going to get a lot of benefit from this? Not really because you're not really looking to do normal attacks without using the E skill ability because you're not getting the attack increase because she comes with so low base attack. But it does kind of help. Not recommending you doing that though. Just want to use Utah with the E skill then just kill do massive charge attacks and switch and have your other main carry have the increased crit rate and just destroy everything and that's how you want to play with Hutao. I'm gonna showcase in Dance of Steel dungeon just because it's really easy to showcase numbers here. Obviously this dungeon is gonna have the physical damage increase. Don't look at the physical damage. I'm gonna try not to hit enemies physically. So I'm just gonna be using the E skill and I'm just gonna just attack them charge attacks okay. And for the team, I'm using Hu Tao, Ganyu, Zin Yan, and Tartaglia. Now, Zin Yan, I'm not even gonna pull her out. She's in here strictly for the um, attack increase. Ganyu is gonna be in here for melt reaction. So I'm just gonna be using Hu Tao and Ganyu, and that's it. Now, you're looking to quickly kill an enemy really quickly, right? Okay, now an enemy is killed. You can now spam charge attack without using stamina and that's going to be a beauty for 10 seconds so okay. 
Bro, I'm just spamming charge attacks. And with the black clip, as you kill enemies, you're just gonna be doing more damage. So with three enemies killed, your black clip's just gonna be having increased attack and it's just gonna be destroying enemies really quickly and doing massive numbers. Now with the Hutel, you just saw 27,000 damage right now. If you're new to the channel, I have Hutal build guide with 4 different artifact builds and it's up and running. It should pop up on top right corner or I'll leave it in the description below. No touching. I got careless. All hail. Fry. Uh. That tingle. So in situation where you have you're going against weak enemies, quickly after you kill an enemy, you're just gonna be constantly spamming charge attack without having stamina cost consumption. You have someone like Ganyu or Kiki or Diona having their alt no out and just doing massive crowd reaction, then it's gonna be beneficial for Hutel. And especially if you have Chung Yoon also, it's gonna be really good too. So now if you look at the Hutel's constellation one, while using the E skill ability and you're in that state, you're gonna have Hutel's charge attack consumption of stamina to zero. So with so with Bloodstained, you are having stamina cost to zero, but the only thing is you have to kill an enemy. But it's kind of like a cheap way to obtain Constellation 1 with the Bloodstained set. And the charge attack is going to have 50% increased damage. So this set is actually pretty good depending on your playstyle. For the other options for the charge attack build, obviously you can go for the Heart of Death 4 piece set. Now after you use the elemental skill, it's going to increase straight up normal and charge attack damage by 30% for 15 seconds. So this set actually works really good with Hutel. If you're not gonna get any benefit with the that here, so you don't have to lose out on this. Another option you have is the retracing bolt like set with the four piece set. And if you're protected by the shield, you're gonna get increased normal and char charge attack damage by 40%. So if you're running the old team, then this set is gonna be really good for Hutel actually. Frost. Time to go. Huh? 